Just days after winning a bronze medal at the Olympics, WNBA star Derricka Hamby is suing her former team for discrimination. She claims the Las Vegas Aces traded her after she got pregnant. In a federal lawsuit, Hamby says that back in 2022, the Aces offered her housing and tuition for her daughter's private school if she resigned. But Hamby claims everything changed when she told them that she was pregnant. After that, she says that she lost those benefits and she claims that she was bullied by the coaching staff. The WNBA says that it's reviewing the complaint. Hundreds of firefighters continue to battle wildfires across Greece today. Three hospitals in the Greek region of Attica have been put on heightened alert as wildfires continue to rage. Now, the wildfire is progressing with great momentum towards the capital, Athens. However, crews say efforts to contain the fire are slowing it down. Nearby Turkey also sending aid to Greece to help. Fears of a potential Mideast regional war are having global consequences. The tension is increasing oil prices, with U.S. crude jumping 4.2 percent yesterday and Brent crude gaining nearly 3 percent the same day. Traders worry a war could stop the flow of oil through some of the Middle East's most vital trade routes. Former President Donald Trump spoke at length with Elon Musk during an interview on X yesterday. The virtual chat got off to a rocky start with technical issues delaying the conversation for more than 40 minutes. The former president jumping right into criticizing Vice President Kamala Harris on border security, mocking climate change and discussing plans to shut down the education department. Kamala Harris criticized Trump for his appearance with Musk and for the lackluster quality of the live stream. The FBI confirmed that the agency is investigating an apparent hacking incident that Trump campaign blamed on Iran. Over the weekend, former President Donald Trump posted to his social media platform that Microsoft told his campaign that it had been hacked. On Monday, National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby said that the U.S. is taking any reports of hacking very, very seriously. Preparations are underway for the Democratic National Convention in Chicago. Workers have been putting up barriers and banners around the United Center ahead of next week's big event. Listed speakers at the convention include nominee Kamala Harris and Tim Walz, as well as President Biden and former President Barack Obama. The DNC kicks off next Monday, August 19th, and runs until the 22nd. Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s campaign has been dealt a major blow in New York. A judge on Monday ruled the independent presidential candidate's ballot access petition invalid. The lawsuit was filed by a group that argued that the residence Kennedy lists on his New York ballot nomination is not true and that he actually resides in California. Throughout the trial, Kennedy maintained that he has been a permanent resident of New York since he was a child. This comes as Kennedy also faces ballot challenges in other states. It looks like shoppers may be dealing the final blow to inflation. Economists say consumers are now cutting back on spending enough to help drive inflation down towards the Fed's preferred rate of 2%. A new survey by the Federal Reserve Bank of New York says Americans' outlook on their spending over the next year is at its lowest level since April of 2021. Disney announced plans for an avalanche of new attractions and lands at its parks. A new land based on Disney villains will be built at its Magic Kingdom in Orlando. In Anaheim, the Avengers campus at Disneyland is going to double in size thanks to two new attractions. New Encanto and Indiana Jones attractions will also be built at Disneyland's Animal Kingdom. And a new Avatar land is coming to California Adventure in Disneyland. Disney is planning to spend $60 billion for its expansions at its parks and cruise line. And that's today's 9 at 9.